This is one on one session with the Forum IS founder and director Ayush Sinha. In this session, students are asked questions to test their preparedness for the personality test. One on one sessions are not mock panel sessions. All right, let us begin with a couple of questions, Gaur Simrath. Yes, sir. So, Gaur Simrath, can you begin by introducing yourself to me? Yes, sir. As you mentioned, my name is Gaur Simrath Singh. I belong to the city of Patiala from Punjab state. I have done my primary and secondary education from Patiala. Thereby, I did my MBBS in graduation and uh, in from Government Medical College, Patiala and Rajendra Hospital. My hobbies are performing Bhangra, playing basketball, and listening to Punjabi songs. My friends and people around me generally find me a person with positive outlook in life. All right. First, Gur Simrat, what does your name mean? I have heard Gur Simran. But what is Gur Simrat? Well, Gur Simrat is comprised of two words, Guru and Simrat, which means enchanting the name of God. Okay. And what is Guru Simran? It also means the same, the uh, Simran and Simrat, uh, they can be used exchangeably. Yes. You are from Patiala. Patiala is famous for many things. Can you tell yes, me sir. what are some things uh, that Patiala is famous for? Yes, sir. Patiala is famous for many things like Patiala Fulkari, Patiala Shahi Turban, Patiala Peg, and uh, even Patiala Parandi, Patiala Jyoti, etc. Also, many cultural places like Shri Gurdwara Dukhni Varan Sahib. Kali Mata Devi Temple. Yeah. Also, the Asia's largest institute of sports, National Institute of Sports, is located in Patiala. Patiala is also the headquarters of Northern Zone Cultural Center. Also, we have educational institutions like Thapar University, Rajiv Gandhi University of Law, Government Medical College Patiala, and Punjabi University Patiala. So, these are all the things that are located in Patiala, but Patiala primarily, from what I understand, is famous for what you mentioned earlier. Yes. So, what is, what is Patiala Fulkari? How is it different? What is unique about it? Sir, uh, Patiala Fulkari is a traditional uh, specific embroidery of Patiala Punjab. Sir, it uh, has specific geometric patterns or the borders uh, of the cloth uh, on the specific geometric motifs on the borders which are embroidered on the cloth sir, that I'm aware of. Punjab as a state has enjoyed and a very war ravaged history. What is yes, the reason sir. for it? Sir, I believe uh, during ancient times, Punjab was uh, the doorway or the transition route uh, because being a border area, also uh, it was a transition route from the Western uh, powers or foreign invaders to invade through Punjab <laughs> and Haryana. So it was a transit route. So famous battle battles and uh, were fought in Punjab, Haryana, sir, in both the states. Also, many of the warriors and even the Sikh kingdoms uh, and the Britishers, they sir, participated in the battles there and wars. No, no. So, so you're answering my question, Gur Samrat. I said, why? So one is that. So you're telling me other things as well. Just clearly tell me why it was, why it has a war ravaged history. One, two, three, tell me. So one, geographically, it was a transit route. Second, uh, historically, it was the seat of Sikh kingdom. Between? Transit route between? So, between the foreign invaders and the various Indian empires, like Mauryas and Guptas. Hmm. The second, uh, it was the seat of the Sikh kingdom, the Sikh empire. So Sikh battles were fought here. Why did people want to conquer the Sikh empire or the Sikh, uh, Sikh kingdoms? Sir, uh, first would be it provided a route to the Afghanistan and uh, that area, that hill rich area. It was a route to that. And also Sikh empire was a very a uh, strong and a uh, big empire under Maharaja Ranjit Singh also. And uh, so I think many no, invaders but, and also Britishers. No, people don't want to conquer very strong powers. Skur Simrat. Maharaja and Ranjit Singh, Punjab had its, uh, what I call a, a complete independent status under Maharana Ranjit Singh, the brave warrior. People do not want to co conquer or fight a strong nation. That does not happen unless they have a compelling reason. Think and tell me why the British would want Punjab. Sir, after the fall of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh, after his death, 
then britishers uh, invaded punjab with the first and second anglo sikh wars then what they is, what was the motive so they wanted to expand their empire up till afghanistan that was the britishers because they wanted to make it a buffer uh, for uh, from russia yes now you are telling me the correct keyword you need know the answer why you are not telling me good simrat anybody who has a power in india knows that foreign invaders including afghan or Turk- turkish or iranian farsi persians anyone who will attack theek hai will come via punjab route punjab yeah. yeah so therefore you need either an a strong you need an a strong empire there that is able to repel this or you need it as a buffer state so that you can fight your first battle there then withdraw and then fight a second battle at your actual angle so yes sir good so you you know i expect you to answer it very clearly good simrat yes sir okay okay you have been a first division student of mbbs a doctor yes. can you tell me the difference between an analgesic and anti pyretic and yes. there is a third word can you tell me what is the third word sir anti pyretic analgesic i know anti pyretic is uh, uh, referred the drugs like uh, dolo 650 or paracetamol for reducing fever pyresis means fever and anti means against fever analgesic would be a drug which would relieve pain like morphine etc they are analgesic what is the difference between pain and you know so people think that inflammation and pain are the same thing what is the difference between pain and inflammation sir uh, both these are signs of a sir when an injury happens or any foreign body comes so our body this is a protective mechanism of a body actually our body gives signs of a foreign body so in a react in reaction to that sir uh, there is redness there is swelling or which is called inflammation and then the pain occurs in response to that so these are just signs of protection sir good simrat i was traveling with a doctor in my compartment and yes, he sir. happened to take a look at a co passenger on the opposite berth while i was traveling in a train so it was a long journey so this doctor friend of mine or doctor co passenger he looks at this man looks at his feet and says that you have a heart problem and yes, this sir. so passenger was very surprised he said sir how do you know so this co passenger says sir i am a doctor now what could possibly this doctor may have seen looking at the leg of the person that he told he has a heart problem sir the left heart uh, problem or the problem in the left heart sir it usually has a symptom in the legs or the ankle as per se the edema of feet or the legs they get swollen and that is a, a good sign of for the heart heart problem sir cardiovascular problem that's the so sign why does it swell why does it swell because sir uh, the output from the uh, the cardiac output the blood comes uh, and against gravity from, uh, from the legs up to the heart for pumping so due to that uh, perfusion problem uh, the uh, blood collects there and the swelling occurs there sir all right good simrat so i am from humanities background and i do not no your technical jargon or medicine jargon but my co passenger told me that he has a swollen leg because he has a weak heart the heart is able to send the blood to the feet but it when it comes to pumping out the blood from his leg because yes. of weak heart the blood is accumulating in his legs and he suggested that he raise his feet after some time yes sir that's what i told uh, due to the perfusion the pumping the legs couldn't pump the blood back to the heart against gravity so the blood collects there collects there and it gets swollen by raising the feet or the lower part of the body uh, we can push a pump because leg has a soleus muscle which pumps so it would increase the blood supply back to the heart i will expect that you explain to me in simple terms yes sir by raising the lower part of the body against uh, uh, to the gravity and uh, in a supine or lying position which we say and by raising the leg part uh, we increase the blood supply back to the heart for perfusion again what is participating in declamations what is this hobby of yours sir uh, declamations uh, means reciting a speech covering all the dimensions uh, of a topic pros and cons and then concluding with the notes sir all right how long are your declamations like sir uh, depends upon a competition or a uh, generally it, uh, comes up to 5 to 8 minutes per speech okay so if i were to ask you to make a declamation on the russia ukraine conflict in 
less about two minutes or so or less than that as this what are the few things you would say you can take your time to answer this question in this era of uh, globalization uh, all over the world the geopolitics and the geostrategics play a big role uh, in the foreign policy of the country so the recent uh, invasion by the russia on the ukraine uh, field also is a take on that in the new geopolitical order of the world uh, there was an apprehension uh, of the western forces uh, of the of the russia of joining of the nato of the eastern european countries and also of the ukraine which uh, initially led to this war like situation like crisis india as a country also had stakes in the, in that having students medical students especially in cities like kharkiv and key but our indian government uh, took a massive step of evacuation under operation clean ganga and uh, we eva- evacuated our student as of now the indian government is uh, supporting a very balanced stand and uh, we were the first one in the world to send the humanitarian aids to ukraine and also we support a peaceful resolution of the conflict and in the end i hope that uh, like minded countries can uh, discuss among themselves and put both the parties on the negotiation to solve such a crisis as world is one global village and also in the ethos of indian the vasudeva kutumbakam that world is one family that we uh, cherish sir thank you you love listening to punjabi songs right <clears throat> state currently has a former singer as a chief minister sir i am not aware of which state of india has a singer as a chief minister sir i don't know if uh, punjab government pagmant man used to sing earlier but uh, he was a comedian i don't know if he used to sing but i am not aware i am not sure can you name another any nation in the world where a former comedian went on to become the head of state sir i am not aware i look up to it you have just spoken about it good simrat i am giving you a hint so i know the punjab government cm come before this you have given an entire speech on the topic and you are unable to recall it but i i don't know if vladimir putin mr vladimir putin was a comedian i'm not sure who's the other person mr zelensky a former comedian who who in his tv series played a comedian who becomes a president and actually became a president okay sir thank you good simrat one uh, last question you are a doctor the country the covid crisis has proven that we need uh, doctors more than ever before who according to is more important for the society a doctor or a civil servant sir i believe every professional uh, is equally important because uh, it is a collaboration of administration the police and even the doctors and also the, all the frontline workers all the paramedics so i, I believe uh, we need every professional uh, to work uh, in tandem to uh, no. suppress another wave but, but doctors is a specialized field so not everybody can do the specialized work while everybody may do a generalist work not everybody can do a specialized work for example you have a war an artist is good for the society but what good is artist in a war so for a war we may need soldiers so similarly which is what is more important for the society to be doctors or civil servants so i would still say both are equally important because doctors also work under hospital administration or under administration even administration is getting specialized these days both are equally important sir in my part right so a lot of resources of, we are a resource scarce country a lot of resources of the country are committed so that we can produce one good doctor who can treat the society yes. and when apply for a government job or a civil services it's a loss to the medical fraternity how do you justify this sir i won't see it as a loss but i would see it as an extension of my service the skills the traits the five years uh, sir the knowledge medical knowledge i acquired i would uh, utilize at my best and to utmost to my utmost capabilities in administration as well sir no can you give me any examples yes sir my first preference is indian police services so i would uh, connect with an analogy sir the basic purpose of a doctor is to 
डायग्नोज अ डिजीज एंड देन क्योर द डिजीज आफ्टर दैट और प्रिवेंट अ डिजीज एट द फर्स्ट रिजॉर्ट सर इन द सेम वे द पुलिस सर्विसेज दे ऑल्सो डील विद द इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन दे ऑल्सो क्योर द डिजीज दैट इज द क्राइम फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी एंड दे ट्रीट इट एंड दे ऑल्सो ट्राई टू प्रिवेंट द क्राइम एट द फर्स्ट रिजॉर्ट सो आई आई वुड यूटिलाइज माई स्किल्स ऑफ पब्लिक डीलिंग माई फॉरेंसिक्स नॉलेज all that in administration and police administration as well sir all right thank you good samrit the interview is over thank you sir